is column is a and row is six this is a six so if i ask you okay find find the cell reference number what d4 okay so what you do you go for the first column which is d and four the row four so one two three four so d4 is 540 and same as if i ask you what c7 so c7 is the cell reference for the c7 which is c and 7 is there so this is c7 so every every cell has their own address and it's very important when we are making any calculation so the spreadsheet comprise on a column row and the cell number or cell reference number now we move to our example mr a has a polygon which represents about center angles which is c interior angle which is v and also explain about the number of sides okay the number of sides for polygon is three and the center angle is 120 and the interior angle is 60 and the sum of interior angle is 180 so now i'm going to move the question so the first question is which row spreadsheet represent a hexagon so which row of the spreadsheet spreadsheets represent a hexagon so hexagon means hexagon means the shape it has how many sides there are six sides okay so the number of sides okay so we go to this cell okay so this is which row of the spreadsheet represent a hexagon so hexagon represents okay here is a six and the row is what row number is five so the answer will be five so the answer will be five and the second question is what what shape is represented by row 3 of a spreadsheet? What, what shape is represented by represented by row 3? Row 3 so, what shape is represented by row 3? So, we go for what? We go to the row number 3. And how many sides are there? There are 4 sides. And we know the shape name is a, it has 4 sides. It's called a square. So, the answer will be very simple. A square. And now moving the question number C. The formula used in a spreadsheet to calculate the angle at the center of hexagon was 360 divided by A5. Okay, so it says the formula used for hexagon. Hexagon means okay, row number five. And the center angle, how the center angle calculate, okay? The center angle calculate, 
center angle calculate they're giving in the exam yeah what 360 divided by what a5 divided by a5 so we need to find the value of center angle so how we work out very simple okay that's why i ask you that every cell has a reference number or the address okay so examiner giving you the 360 divided by a5 so a5 means okay this is the column a and the row is 5 okay so you go directly a5 which is 6 so 360 divided by 360 divided by a5 which is 6 so the answer will be what 60 degree yeah the center angle okay so the missing center angle you found 60 the missing one you found which is 60 what did you do okay examiner say 360 divided by a5 what we did 360 divided by a5 which is 6 and you get the answer is 60 now move part d yeah and a part d it says what into which empty cell should this value be entered okay the question is asking okay the answer we get 60 for center angle for hexagon so which which address which cell address we going to enter this one so the answer will be b b5 very simple so the answer is b5 for d so which cell reference we enter the value which we got here 60 so we need to write down b5 now they are asking e is asking about what formula was used to find the center angle of 10 sided decagon yeah so decagon means okay the polygon which has 10 side and it says what formula is used okay so what formula used to find center angle center angle of decagon so what we do okay we just work out about center angle 360 divided by a5 okay so a5 means okay how many sides are there a5 6 so you need to use the same formula which is 360 divided by but not a5 okay it's talking about decagon okay so the cell reference the cell address okay a column a and row is nine so this is your answer for e very simple so 360 divided by a nine now 
move to the question number F. So F is asking about to find the interior angle of pentagon and the formula is 180 minus B4. Okay, so what? Interior angle interior angle of a pentagon and the formula is given here what 180 minus b4 so 180 minus b4 okay First, we go for the pentagon. Pentagon means that it has a five sides. Okay, so look at this is pentagon, five sides, and it says how you work out the interior angle, which is the missing one here. Okay, so the interior angle, how you find? Okay, they give you 180 minus B4. So, what we do simply 180 minus b4 okay there is a column b okay and the 4 is here so which is b4 so 180 minus 72 which is 108 So examiner give you 180 minus B4. So B4 is a 72. This is B4. You subtract 180 minus 72. So you found the both missing. This value and this value. And now move the part G. It says in which empty cell should this value enter? So which cell are we going to enter? Okay, so we enter C4. Okay, so the answer will be the next part is C4. Okay, C4, the answer. And what formula use? in this spreadsheet to find the interior angle of seven sided heptagon okay so the same as okay what we use okay <coughs> one thing uh keep in mind okay the cell reference okay the formula what we using okay in this column so this formula used for all cells to apply all cells for example if i say that what the interior angle we found what b4 okay 180 minus b4 to get 108 so the heptagon is also what the formula is same yeah what so seven sided heptagon how we work out the formula for interior angle okay so 180 minus what 180 minus the heptagon there is this heptagon mean there are seven sides okay and what we do same we do is b six the cell reference is is b6 so if we need to find out what 
interior angle of heptagon which is 128.6 so you need to simply 180 minus b6 so you can find the interior angle for heptagon and i yeah what what value result for using formula what value results using what value results using C9 times A9. So they give you the cell reference number. <clears throat> C9 times A9. Okay. So C9, you know that C9. Okay. We go there C and the 9. Okay. Which is 144. So C9 is 144 times by what a9 okay so the a9 is 10 so the a9 is 10 so they give you a formula to ask that find the value or the results okay so which is 1440 is already there okay the sum of interior angles 1440 but they giving you cell value which is a9 times a9 okay so c9 which is 144 and times by a9 you can get the answer 1440 so this is called a spreadsheet okay so examiner testing about like missing any numbers so you need to work out by the cell reference number so if you like this video please leave your feedback and share our video with your family friends and see you in the next video bye bye